Hey, welcome guys. In this video, we're explaining about Xbox Play Anywhere, how it works, and some of the problems I found with it. So, what is it? Well, it's a pretty basic concept. The idea is if you have an Xbox game or if this title is purchased through the Microsoft Store, um, then you'll be able to play it on your PC or your Xbox. But there's some added bonuses to it. So, for example, if you want to play multiplayer mode, so say, for example, I have Gears of War 4. I'm on PC, I can play multiplayer with my friend who's on an Xbox. Pretty cool, right? There's also another added bonus is that you can actually play the game that you purchased on PC over on your Xbox and your score and everything will carry over exactly the same. And that works in the reverse. You, whatever you accomplish on Xbox will carry over to your PC. First off, make sure you have Windows 10. The next thing you want to do is just simply Google Xbox Play Anywhere and go to the first official Xbox link. This is where you'll find additional information from Microsoft and as well as titles that are actually capable of using this function. Because not all Xbox games can utilize this function. In fact, if you take Quantum Break, which was developed by Microsoft Studios, it doesn't take use of this feature. But another game like Gears of War 4 does, so be sure to check out that list because Right now, this list is kind of scarce, but they're adding some more highly anticipated games as of this date, like Middle Earth, Shadow of War. I'm really looking forward to that game. So from there, you find your game, you purchase it, and be sure to open up the Xbox app that is built into Windows 10. If you don't have an Xbox gamer tag already, make sure you register for one, you're gonna need that. So after you purchase it from the website, it's gonna open up an installation window because it is a Windows Store application. So this is one of the most important things here. If you're looking to purchase it on a PC, for example, make sure you do not purchase it from Steam or anywhere else. It has to be purchased through the Microsoft Store. That is a very critical point. If you purchase it anywhere else, it's most likely not gonna work. Microsoft wants to keep everything in-house. Once it's done, it's gonna start installing like a Microsoft Store purchased application. Now, the size of the video game might vary. So for example, when I purchased Gears of War 4, it was 125 gigs. Yes, you heard me correctly, 125 gigs. Whereas other video games which had much more open world space like Witcher 3 was a fraction of that size. I don't know who did a horrible job in the compression, but you might encounter that issue. So once the game is fully downloaded, basically I do suggest you reboot like any other Windows application that you install. The game should be good to go after that. And of course you can go over to your Xbox console, start downloading it because it's tied to your Xbox Gamer ID, which is also a part of your Microsoft Outlook account, which includes Outlook email, uh, live, uh, Hotmail, so make sure it's tied to that that you're going to use permanently. Now that Xbox Gamer account is completely free unless you want to register for Xbox Gold for example, but that's completely optional. So in case you're already a PC gamer, you don't really need to know this, but if you're someone who's looking to get into the PC gaming environment, you can get much better graphics on a PC than an Xbox or PlayStation 4, that's always a given, except you have to pay up more money. Now the real problem I found is this. As of this date recording right now, I just beat Gears of War 4 because I'm about 8 months behind on video games so I'm trying to catch up. So here's the thing, Gears of War 4 on the Microsoft Store or anywhere else on the internet, if I try to purchase it for PCs averaging about $80 Canadian. Now here's the problem, if I were to purchase the same game on an Xbox One, well it's actually about $30 because the game has gotten old. So because I'll eventually end up buying an Xbox console of some kind, I would purchase the Xbox Play Anywhere version of Gears of War 4, but the problem is I couldn't get it on sale. I have to pay the full price provided by Microsoft which is $80. Bucks. The most important thing to keep in mind is that whether you purchase this game for Xbox or for PC primarily, to use Xbox Play Anywhere, it must be purchased from the Xbox Xbox store online and it must be a digital copy so you can't just purchase a physical copy from EB games and just use it. No, it must be done from Microsoft directly and it must have specified that it's compatible with Xbox Play Anywhere. So do keep in mind you might have to sacrifice a bit more cash out of your wallet just to get that PC gaming compatibility over with your Xbox. Overall I think this is a great feature and I have to give Microsoft props for it. I really do hope that this list will expand especially with the release of Xbox Scorpio I believe it's being called, releasing in the near future and 4K compatibility and I really would love to see this library expand as it can carry over between my Xbox game library and my PC gaming library and who wouldn't love to play on PC graphics but play multiplayer with your friends who are on an Xbox, right? It's the best of both worlds. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Be sure to check out my Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and Instagram links in the video description. Hit that like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.